but getting back to this game that I never left. Oh, and shouts out to the hung. I couldn't see what he was saying, but shouts out to the homie Kev Mac and let him know that um, I think he said, how did I get all this good game? First of all, I'm from the southeast side of Chicago. Uh, I'm an 84 baby, not a 2000 baby. And, uh, you know, I've been seasoned by pastors, Max, pimps, dope dealers, and killers. What you say, bro? I got a question for you, man. Hold on. Before you come. Okay, Paul that came up and he said, what do you think about this NFL policy, pimp? Bro, I, I was reading, but then one of these broads called me and I didn't even I didn't get to read in its entirety so I'm not going to try to answer as if I have all the knowledge in totality until I read everything in its entirety so give me an opportunity to read everything in its entirety and when I'm blessed with another opportunity to speak on it I will bless but such as right now I'm not I don't have the knowledge I'm just knowing part but not all the way uh, but I appreciate the two dollars that you blessed with hey let me say this a whole bunch of ones be the whole bunch of nuns any damn day. And when uh when you guys give a dollar, two dollars, ten, twenty, a hundred, five hundred, whatever you give, I want you to know that you make haters mad because they upset because they know what I represent. And for you guys, and then some of y'all be scared because you got jobs, you got careers and things, and it's like, man, I want to give the sin, but I don't want to glorify pimping. I don't want to glorify all of this stuff. Hey, man, let me tell you something, man. You know, uh, we not glorifying, you know what I mean, anything that's going to put a person in a correctional facility and lose their existence for an eternity up in there, man. I'm actually giving an outstanding understanding so these youngsters don't have to repeat my misunderstandings, your misunderstandings, and that's why God in this game has blessed me to have this platform that I have so that you can receive the truth and they don't have to be stupid like my dumb ass was. Okay, what's your question, man? Hey, man, so uh, I'm 19, I'm in college, and uh, but one thing about me, man, is I've always been fascinated with the game, and I understand you talking about, you know, the Bible and everything like that, and I respect that, but is it cool if I ask you a question about the game? Man, listen, y'all can act, listen, look at what they say. Call and ask sinful to pee whatever you desire. Right, so man. this is y'all video. This ain't Sinful to Pee video. This is me and my family. Picture us at a restaurant or at a couch, and we just ask them whatever. You might want to call uh, call me and say sin. Uh, I was watching your video last night. You was roasting that, uh, you know what I mean, uh, 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 Lowski. You was roasting in Chicago. What you mean about that? You can ask me whatever the hell you want to ask me. This is me and my family video. This y'all. Okay, what's your right, question, man. young bro? All right, man. So, I'm in, I'm in Houston. You know, my whole life I've been fascinated with the game and everything. And, you know, I talked to a lot of brothers who was in the game as far as, you know, pimping, you know, selling dope and everything like that. But I just want to know, when do you think the pimping was at its high? And when do you think it, it went to its demise and it, just, it was no more? You said, when did the pimping go to its demise? No, yeah, like, yeah, when was the pimping, like, at its peak, like, at its greatest? And when was it, like, you know, over? Like, when you know it was, like, over and it's no more? The pimping ain't what never been over. The pimping's still going on now. The pimping, the pimping basically been going on since Genesis, and it's going to continue to revelations in all locations. The pimping ain't going to never be over. As long as this world is in existence, you're going to always have a pimp existing, and you're going to always have a hoe seducing and reducing the world and endeavor to bring in the world back to a pimp. Yeah. What else question you got? What else question you got? I like that. You know what I mean? Keep, keep going. Now, them other questions outside of the game, I like whatever they got to ask, but you already know. Any question about the game, y'all know I'm anointed with that. Come on now. <laughs> Anything about the game, I get excited. So, All right, well, go another, ahead. Well, another question kind of about that. Really, I'm, I'm 19. I go to a HBCU in Texas. Now, I'm surrounded by females. But I feel like the more that I have, have sex with a female, the more they try to get me into a relationship with them. And I'm not really trying to do all that. And I just want to know, how, how can I go about that, man? Okay, well, look. You know what I mean? Uh, you see what you just did? Did you see what you just said out your mouth? What I, what I say? Did you see what you just said out your mouth? 
You said I'm not trying to do all of that. You see what you just said? Yeah. Okay, that's what the f you got to say then. You know what I mean? When uh, be that bold with it. huh? Just be that bold with man, it. Man, be bold it. with it. Don't be no punk. No, man, don't put on no Oscar. Hey, listen. When you lie to a woman, you give her a license to despise you. The only thing. That, and it ain't a lie, you just being protective. Now, if the police pull you over, they ask you questions, you ain't got no damn business giving them information, so that ain't the time to be the truth. If it's regarding your freedom, or they ask you questions about your friend or your enemy, you don't tell on your friend, you don't even tell on your enemy. You ain't got no information, you only speak in the vernacular of silence to them. So, yeah, we lie to judges, police officers, and things like that. Or... You might be, uh, uh, like, if you live a lifestyle in the streets or if you're not in the streets. And uh, you got to be uh, very protective of information regarding your family, you know what I mean, such as your mama, your father, your sister, your brother, or your children, or your child. You know what I mean? The streets don't need to know about that. You know what I mean? Uh, you keep your family and business completely separated. You know, these are things that, now, but outside of these things, be the truth in everything. Be the truth in everything. Be the truth in totality. You know what I'm saying? You don't never lie to a woman. When you lie to a woman or lie to a young female endeavoring to be a woman, because you're 19, you're probably 19 or 20, uh, you never lie because, you know, when something, when she finally find out that you lied or you're a liar, the respect level will never be the same. You, you diminished your image. You changed your value. Your value didn't increase, it decreased. And let me say this. A lot of y'all, I'm not going to say no names. A lot of y'all been listening to certain people on YouTube and they encouraging you to lie to women. That is a mother lie. We do not lie to women. Who the, what woman in this world is so viable for her to be lied to? If it don't be for them reasons pertaining to the streets, that I just said, if it don't be pertaining to that, the f*** you lying to this woman? What she ever did in her life for you to sit up there and disrespect your life and lie to her? Come on, man. Stop disrespecting manhood. Stop disrespecting principle. We not lying to no woman. We don't see women like that. Manhood is up here. Principles is up here. The woman is right here. She'll never be equivalent to the principles and standard and manhood of a damn man. No, a woman don't define a man. She can only agree with what a man want to do. So with that being said, little bro, you know what I mean? Uh, the next time you tell one of them bras, you just say like this, hey, um, well, baby, you know what I mean? Uh, I like what we do. I mean, I really do. You know what I mean? I appreciate that. You know, we be going on our little mental and physical safaris and things like that, you know, but uh, I just want you to know that, you know, I mean, we're very young and, uh, you know, to put a title on something, we only can limit ourselves, you know, that them titles, it limits ourselves because now, you know, because of a title, you know, we only do things, uh, only participate in activities pertaining to that title. So, you know, that boyfriend, girlfriend thing, that's beneath us. And, you know, in all actuality, we just got here, baby. I'm 19, you 19 or 20, we just got here. So, no, I don't want to uh, do the relationship thing because I don't want to hinder you. <laughs> and I don't want to hinder me either. You know what I mean? So we all got to just, you know, come on one accord to have fun. I want you to bring out the best in me. And I want to bring out the best in you. I don't want to hinder you from being the best you. And I don't want nobody to hinder me from being the best me. So I appreciate you know, the enjoyment, fun, and joy that you give me. But at this particular time, baby, you know, I really don't want to, uh, you know, get into anything uh, like that. You know what I mean? I really like my schooling, and I'm concentrating, and I got to put on all this diligent research and doing my work and everything like that. And I got to stay focused on being focused. I don't got time to, you know, being in a relationship because the only thing that I'm endeavoring to be in a relationship with is success. You know, I got a family, you know, to make happy. So, you know, it is what it is. And because you gave it to her like that, the bride, she don't have no choice but to, first of all, respect you because you didn't say, you didn't lie to her. 
and say, let's be in a relationship and then conduct yourself like you ain't in a relationship. You didn't play no games. A lot of you don't know. They be trying to give you books and consultations and all of that. But the truth of the matter is this, bro. A lot of you get so much if you just be a real just tell the truth. When you the truth, gravitate to you. When you live like every day, you know what I mean? I'm the best definition of truth. Getting put is about as easy as breathing the air of God. You don't got to put on no Oscar Award performance, you know what I mean, to have no pussy, man. You know, it's billions of women out there. Why are you doing all of that work, you know what I mean, just to have sex with that little broad, man? See, you got to change your mind, man. As a man thinking, so is he. And if you think that that pussy is that valuable for you to disrespect your manhood and your principles, you know what I mean, then you done already lost already. We don't lie for pussy. We don't use no deception for pussy. We don't do any conning for pussy because that's not even manly to lie for pussy, to lie for a piece of twat, something that's only going to give you pleasure for a moment, man. You know what I'm saying? We don't lie for no p man. You know what I mean? That's that's what the little n do. That's what the males do. But as far as a man, he don't lie on no lie for no p We don't lie on our d You know what I mean? Uh, and first of all, let me also tell you this. You got to be careful who you tell who you f All right? Yeah, I'm from Chicago. You can't tell? Uh, you know what I mean? This motherfucker asked me if I'm from Chicago. Who, who else going to bless you like this? But anyway... Um, you know what I mean? Stop telling everybody, you know, who you f All right? It ain't everybody's business. All right? Because if you tell everybody your business, you're not going to have no business. You know what I mean? So, you uh, and then, you know, by telling everybody your business, you give people opportunities to get into some evangelism with the criticism on your name, you know what I mean, and try to sit up there and minimize your game simply because you're telling your game to everybody. Everybody don't need to know who you f Everybody don't know need to know who's sucking your d and f on you. You know what I'm saying? So to you young guys, man, you know, because you young. You know, when I was young, you know, that used to be a trophy. That used to be put a smile on our face when we used to brag about who we f and, you know, what girls and sucked our d things like that, you know what I mean, you know, when you're a young male, you know, things like that's important, you know, but as you mature and get wiser, because I be seeing them old and on them other YouTube channels actually talking, them be having CNN debates about some I ain't about to do all that, even if I wasn't in the game, I wouldn't do that, you know what I mean, like, that shit is lame, it's just some so you give value to things that, that's the problem with us, especially black men, we give value to too many things that don't even deserve that much value. See, you've been to deceive into thinking that, you know what I mean, her p is so valuable that you should lie and, you know, cheat and you should uh, uh, conform into an image just to make her believe in this image so you can have some p Man, that's so lame. You know, it's either the p gonna sit up there and conform and perform or she not. It's billions of p out here. I'm about to sit up there and take out time out of my existence to keep making you feel important, especially when I know I'm the best definition of important. So, young bro, you young, you 19, that within itself, bro, you, you at the top of the food chain, right there, without the Phantom, without the mansion, you know, without a, a, a billion dollars right now, you got something that money can't even buy. You got your youth. You ain't on drugs. You ain't strung out. You got the activity of your limbs. Man, you a blessed young black man. You 19 years old. Hell no, you ain't got no business being in no relationship. And you better be putting a condom on too, man. You know what I mean? Don't, uh, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah you know, sure. we don't need futures coming in here messing up the future. Not right now. Uh, okay, one more thing. One go more ahead, thing. go one ahead. No, you can ask me anything. I like talking to y'all. <laughs> yeah, so like when I, when I catch a female and I meet her, is it right for me to put her under some instruction and, like, give her guidance? Because I feel like, you know, nowadays, these dudes, they're rolling out the red carpet for these females, and they trying to, to, to cupcake with them and do all that stuff with them. But me, oh, I'm trying to put you on some instruction. I'm trying to give you some guidance so we can come up together so I can upgrade. Is that the right thing to do? Well, first of all, number one, let me tell you this. Whether you're in the game or not, and I don't want you to be in the game because you're doing right by being in school 
and stand on uh, on that right, you know, uh, square and narrow path. But check this out, bro. A man is supposed to be an instructor to his woman. That don't have nothing to do with being in the pimp game. A man is an instructor to his woman. I had to give one in one of my consultations a few days ago. Uh, I was dealing with this one couple, and she said he always he always try to tell me what to do. And you know, I uh, he said, "Well, you ask me." She said, "Right, that's the difference. I ask you, but you tell me what to do." I said, and I, and I said, "Baby, do you realize that that's a man?" He's supposed to tell you what to do if he's a man. You women got a lot of y'all that got this shit fucked up. Y'all ain't been a woman before in your life, so you don't know how to conduct yourself as a woman. But a man is supposed to be an instructor to his woman. That has nothing to do with being a pimp. You know what I mean? You're supposed to be an instructor, a leader, a guider. You're supposed to give the woman improvement, encouragement, upliftment, development, empowerment. You're supposed to be the embodiment of more to the woman, man. You're supposed to educate your woman, elevate your woman. Come on, man. When you participate in conversations, you got to have more information than her. You got to be able to fuck her mind like nobody's ever fucked it before. And when she want that, you tell her not right now. You know what I mean? The best way to obtain and maintain the mind of a woman is to say something and do something to that woman that has never been done. And to keep doing it and strive to do it every day. Because each and every day, you're knocking the bitch every day. But uh, yeah, man, you're supposed to instruct her and guide her. Shit, you a man. That's what men do. All right, man. Well, appreciate it, man. I really appreciate your advice, man. I really, really appreciate it. I, I, I can't tell you how much I really appreciate it. Hey, bro, anytime you want to call in, anytime you want to go to my website, you can make consultation, anything. You know what I mean? When it comes to the youth, man, I always fuck with y'all. Y'all more important than anybody. So, you know what I mean? I'm always going to take out time to fuck with you, bro. I appreciate that. All right, man. Stay up. All right, bro. One. I hope you guys live as long as you want and never want as long as you live, man. Y'all be blessed now.